Hey, what is up guys? It's Brennan here and today we're going to be taking a look at Shopify point of sale and more specifically Shopify POS Lite versus Pro. What is the difference? What is the overall pricing features and which is better for you when you're looking to get started with Shopify and getting started with your small business? So that's what we're going to be diving into here in today's video. And of course, before we dive into things, I do want to mention, of course, if you are brand new and you have not already gotten signed up and started with Shopify, you can go ahead and check out that first link down below in the video description. That's brennanvaleski.com forward slash Shopify. It'll take you right over to this page here where you can get started with a free trial to Shopify. Again, that's that first link down below in the video description. And without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into things. So taking a look here at the point of sale systems by Shopify, the two most popular pricing models that they have here is of course the point of sale light and point of sale pro. So what exactly is the difference here between POS Lite and POS Pro? The main difference with a POS Lite is that it is the cheaper option that you can get started with on any Shopify plan, and it is automatically included as a singular location uh, for any Shopify plan that you get started with. And that includes even the cheapest starter Shopify plan, which I cover more in depth in other videos here in the channel. But essentially, the starter plan is a limited online store. You get that point of sale Login and you're actually able to get started with just at that $5 per month price point. Again, the POS Lite is included in any Shopify plan that you do decide to go with. Taking a look even at other online options. So if you are going to be maybe going with the basic Shopify plan, the Shopify plan or the advanced, the POS Lite is included in all three of those. Um, so I did want to just clarify that there. Now, in contrast, the POS Pro, again, we're going to be getting into specific features in just a moment, uh, is at $89 dollars per month and that is the POS Pro location. Now that is for a singular location uh, per, and that is per location as well um, when you're comparing them. So again, the POS Lite is, is included for free under any of those plans. And then you have the retail plan, uh, which is the POS Pro. We'll be getting into specifics of POS Pro in just a moment as far as what it includes, what it looks like. Uh, but that's really the biggest distinction there between the two options. Uh, and really the POS Pro is more like an add-on that you can then add to any other Shopify plan, whether you're on the starter plan, the basic plan, the Shopify plan, or the advanced plan. Any of those different Shopify plans, you can then also add on the POS Pro pricing per each location. So that is $89 per location. So what do you actually get with POS Pro compared to the POS Lite? So if we take a look here at the point of sale options, the biggest difference is here uh, with the point of sale Pro, um, when you're comparing the difference is, is that realistically with POS Pro, in terms of the system, you're able to get the ability to connect to multiple systems so you can sell in multiple locations. You're also able to get the uh, inventory management side of things and just get a lot more um, in control over the inventory again with different locations as well uh, in your business. So again, at the POS Pro, uh, so you get the staff management side of things you're able to unlock the inventory management. Like I mentioned, you get the retail analytics. Uh, so you're also able to monitor the stores in the different locations. You get unlimited staff accounts so you can track the performance across uh, the different staff members that you have. You also have customer profiles uh, as well that you're able to get certain like lifetime value, loyalty. Uh, you do also get personalized shopping. You can track customer preferences as well as, you know, being able to sell, like I mentioned before, omni-channel selling. So you have online, and in store uh, that you can set up. So that's that difference there between the point of sale pro uh, with the point of sale light, as you can see here, just in this quick comparison chart, uh, you can see that there is limited staff members can access the POS. Uh, so that's really great for people who are maybe just a solo person with the Shopify store. Um, and you're just going to be doing everything yourself. That's where POS Lite maybe makes more sense. Uh, if you don't have a physical location, if you're not doing any pop-up shops, 
Uh, even if you are doing pop-up shops, you could still even do that with POS Lite. Uh, you get a simple customer profile, and again, it all goes back to that single purchase location. So you're not able to actually track um, the different locations like you are with POS Pro can actually split things out into those separate locations. You can separate the inventory and really break it out so that if you do have those other locations, maybe you sell at certain pop-up shops and you also have your online store, you're able to sort of distinguish things a bit more uh, and really break down the analytics by location so you can see what locations are maybe performing better than others. This is really good for people who are a more established business owner or are looking to get started started uh, building out and using Shopify for their different locations or even just for pop-up shops as well as an additional sales channel to your online store. That's really where Point of Sale Pro makes the most sense. For people that are just looking to get started and selling occasionally in person uh, and processing payments, then POS Lite is maybe better for you. Pro really is uh, much better for people who have employees multiple locations and it is kind of costly as well because you are going to be paying that per location uh, but it could be worth it for you now one other factor to consider as well in terms of the pricing between the two uh, or one thing that you might not be considering is also the equipment uh, so you can accept payments for free with the shopify app you're just going to be paying credit card processing fees um, so you can do that without actually any point of sale hardware um, and then they do also sell a variety of other types of point of sale hardware such as chip readers and cash management systems uh, and a variety of different types of point of sale hardware uh, that you might need for your store, uh, you know, such as the register being able to check things out or even just mobile um, systems to then process payments and things like that. Uh, with the point of sale as we take a look here at the point of sale hardware uh, this is a separate cost now you don't necessarily need these if you're just going to be going um, you know with the point of sale light like I said before you can tap to pay on iPhone for free uh, so that's a point of sale app that you just directly download uh, that you can do on your phone for free um, that you can then use with the point of sale light which again is already included uh, in any kind of Shopify plan even on the starter plan uh, before you also get the ability to do that there uh, or like I said as well on any of the other Shopify plans the pro option is really for setting up those multiple locations um, now you can also use these on the light version too if you just want a card reader or something like that instead of the tap to pay on iPhone that would make sense too if you don't necessarily have a certain type of iPhone that can actually process payments um, or if you just want a certain reader you can also just pay for a chip reader uh, as well they also have POS go which you know is good for you know selling at events and things like that or if you need a whole countertop kit that makes more sense if you actually have a full-on store uh, for your business obviously uh, so those are really the key differences here between the uh, POS Lite and Pro again what's included what's not included uh, on the plan again it really only makes sense for people that are going to be scaling up and need those extra insights like the uh, professional retail reports inventory management uh, setting up customer and staff reporting per each location uh, that's really who POS Pro makes the most sense for for most other people getting started with an online store and maybe you plan on selling in person occasionally for certain things um, then the POS Lite would just be fine for you and again as you can see here that's already included in every plan and you don't even necessarily need any extra hardware as well because you can do things with the phone. Um, so hopefully that helps you know break down the differences here uh, between the POS Lite and Pro, and which maybe you know makes the most sense for you or what you might need in your small business when you're looking to get started with accepting you know those in-person payments with a Shopify store. Again, guys, if you don't already have a Shopify store, you can go and check out that first link down below in the video description. That's brandvaleski.com forward slash Shopify. I'll take you right over to this page here where you can get started with a Shopify free trial. Again, guys, if you found this comparison video helpful on the point of sale systems uh, with Shopify, uh, then be sure to smash that like button, hit the subscribe button as well, and notification bell so you're notified whenever I upload a new video. Anyway, guys, that's all for today's video, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.